Welcome back to another episode. Today we're going to be talking about how life is always going to constantly be attacking you. So I'm finally trying to become debt free with all of our um, different credit cards that we've used in the past, different medical bills. Before this event happened, we were down to two different bills, the medical bill and the slate credit card. Now, I did a balance transfer, which allowed me to get 0% interest, uh, meaning they are not going to charge me any money for having a balance on that card up until August. So, my goal or my plan was to get rid of the slate credit card before the medical because the medical wasn't going to charge me any interest either and they had been sending me um, they had been sending me like letters in the mail saying that you're not meeting the minimum and I called them and said I'm just gonna pay fifty dollars I'm gonna give you fifty dollars each month I'm paying off another credit card and in a couple months I can pay this balance off in full so they said okay well we'll put it in your notes that you have a plan and I said okay and I thought I was all good and then a few weeks later I get this in the mail so it's basically saying how they're going to take me outside and bust me up if they don't get the rest of their money paid on time so the balance of the medical bill is lower than the balance of my slate credit card so technically if I'm doing snowball correctly I should be taking care of the medical first I just wanted to get rid of the slate because I felt August was gonna come up sooner than I thought so when you have a plan in life and you think "Oh, I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna get this once that's done uh, life is going to come along and say, hold my water, let me show you something, and disrupt all of it. So, uh, I just posted on Instagram the other day saying how um, I've been playing defense in life for my whole life. I've just kind of let things happen to me, and then I have to react to it. But now I'm going to be playing offense and if I had like an emergency fund ready to go, I wouldn't have been in the situation where I had to wait before I paid off some certain things. So what I did was once I got my refund back, my tax refund back, I was going to put it all towards slate to lower that, but I just put it all towards the medical bill and completely paid off the medical bill so these guys are not on my back anymore trying to send me to collections or uh, potentially lower my credit score because I need my credit score uh, super high and also I need no loans I need no remaining loan balances on my credit cards because I plan to do some real estate investing soon and I want the best possible rates on those particular loans um, when I get into that. And remember, there's a difference between good debt, bad debt. Good debt, it's to go to things, assets, that will potentially get you money back. So if you're opening a business, you get a loan for that because you are under the assumption that this business is going to bring you in profit. We're never using debt to buy things that we want that will not give us money that is the goal at least so super important <clears throat> be on offense in life because life will jack you up every chance it gets it doesn't it doesn't care that I'm trying to um, help myself it doesn't care that I'm <laughs> it doesn't care that I'm trying to help other people life doesn't know that you're a struggling single mom life doesn't know that uh, you've been harassed all your life by other people life doesn't know that you just uh, lost some family members in a tragic accident um, and the sad thing is life doesn't care you know life doesn't care about us so we have to take care of ourselves we have to love ourselves um, 
and prepare for anything because life isn't going to be there to, you know, pick you up and, you know, stroke your head and tell you how beautiful you are and a, a little, little precious baby you are. You got to do that for yourself. So that is my plan moving forward. I'm going to be, hopefully, I'm going to hopefully be ready for anything life has to throw at me. And uh, I'm not going to take what life does to me anymore sitting down. I'm going to be proactive. And I'm going to be, uh, like I said, I'm just going to be hopefully ready. So we are in the final stretches of our debt. Everything is paid off except for slate and I've projected out how many uh, how much money I can allocate to that each month August 2nd we are planning to be debt free asterisk the asterisk again um, is that student loan I pay three hundred dollars a month in student loans uh, there's loan forgiveness for teachers there's one evolving if you've done hundred and twenty payments you can get your loans forgiven that way or if you teach a specific uh, subject. So it goes towards math teachers, science teachers, and then SPED teachers. And it's basically for high need areas. So I'll, I'll leave a link in the description if you happen to be a teacher and you didn't know about this. Um, so you can check it out. Oh, you have to be in a low income school. And there's also a list, there's a spreadsheet where you can just search your school and see if you qualify. So again, August 2nd, we're doing a big celebration. No, we're not. <laughs> I'm just going to post about it and then um, showing you what I'm going to be doing with all that extra money, how I'm going to be, how I'm going to be investing it. Okay, something I am grateful for. Something I'm grateful for. Um, again, these are the little things in life that we don't, you know, we don't, we, we may take for granted. Um, so we moved from Lacey, Washington to Port Angeles, and we love getting um, Cutter's Point and Lacey. There's a little coffee shop, Cutter's Point, right by our house. And I would get a, a black cherry white chocolate. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was delicious. And then moving up here, there, there's just like Starbucks and then a couple other smaller coffee shops that didn't do, or that, that didn't have the flavors. But we found something um, that's super similar. And so I'm grateful that I found a coffee, um, a coffee that resembles the coffee that I, that uh, I love in Lacey. And my wife, uh, has also found something similar to the coffee that she liked and like. So, folks, that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being you. And remember to smile because you are beautiful.